Okay, this is uh, team breakthrough training for the administrators using Elvanto to create a form that is going to be an annual form that people need to fill out and then we keep track of it. This is the second part of the video. The first video created talked about how to create the, um, uh, the field, uh, the unique field that we have. Um, so if you look in here, uh, I've showed you how to do a search for Team Breakthrough Annual Checks. Um, if you need to um, edit that search, you can come in here, Edit People View. allows me to go back in here and change what I can see on there. Go back, I don't need to change that. Um, so I've created the custom field. Now this part is all about creating the form that will use that custom field and update it automatically. So I come across to Forms. And these are the forms that we've created here. Now this one, we've already created the form, um, which is, you know, makes things a little bit easier, the form that I'm doing. But to be honest, any form that I create, I never start from scratch anyway. I will take a form that is very similar to what I want, and I'll just use the duplicate option, and then I'll just go in and make adjustments to it. I've pretty much never created a form from scratch except the very beginning. So these are the forms. Don't forget there's more forms down here. So this is the one we're looking at here. The Volunteer Church Workers Declaration, the Refresher form, because that's the one everyone will do every year. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click on Edit. So this is the Volunteer Church Workers Declaration Refresher. And this comes down and shows the details that, that we get for uh, this. Now, I'm going to change something here because um, I've had first name, last name, mobile number. Um, and then this is, they, they tick and say, yes, I agree, 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 agree. And um, when you come down now, and when, the, when this form is completed, I'm going to say now, they can change their field. The, or, or sorry, not they can, it will automatically change a person's field. So I'm gonna come here and it's gonna, so I'm saying when, when this form is, so what actions you'd like to occur when the form is submitted? Okay, these actions will only apply if record for the person exists or they're added to the database. So one thing I'm gonna change here is because that form can't work until this person is linked in with our database, I'm gonna to have to add here, um, in people fields, their email address. And I'm gonna grab that and drag it over. So not only will we get their first name and last name, we'll get their email address. And I'm just gonna change the description on that. I'm gonna say email address and put in brackets, as per your Elvanto login. So use the same email address that you, you do in your Avanto login. And I'm also going to say this field is required and must be filled in. So now what that means is because I've got your first name, last name and email address, all of which are connected into the Alvanto database, if it finds your first name, last name and email address, it will automatically be able to update your details and change this field. So when I come down here now and it says change this person's field, it knows who you are and will change your field automatically. So I've come into people category and I click on there and I say this is the, the field in the people category I want to change. I want to change. No, so I'm switching it from people category to team breakthrough annual volunteer declaration. And and say, I'm going to change it from to be done to be completed. So now when someone completes this form, it will automatically update their, um, uh, their d details. So let me come down. Now, always important when working on forms in Elvanto, um, you make all these changes, they do not apply until you save them. Very important, don't go and jump to another window, don't move, go away from it, because you will lose your changes, you should always um, save. The reason I always, again, use an existing form and copy it, because all the things, um, for instance, like who gets notified when this form is completed, the custom header, the, the word breakthrough, the logo, the colors, they're all preset, so you don't have to go in and change those. So whenever you're creating a form, copy an existing form that looks pretty close to what you want and then make the adjustments to that. Then saves you from having to put all these details in. So I'm gonna save it now.
So without that, I wouldn't have been able to save it. If you want to take this form and then send it out to everybody, you just go to the embed button, button and up here you can see it's already um, highlighted that's the link to this form you can control C that you can go and paste it in you can send it as a slack message hey everybody here's the form to to fill in so um, you do that um, if you click on that link you will get this will turn up now you'll see here because I've logged into Alvanto already on my system it's already found my name and my email address and my mobile number. So I don't have to fill those in. If, um, if you're logged into Alvanto, it should pre-fill those in, and then I can um, come and give my details here. I'm gonna fill this in, um, and um, I'm just making this up. I will go back and fix this up and do it, and change it, all right? So don't you worry. So we'll just do it as, from today's date. Um, I consent that everyone hold the information. I agree. When you do this normally, make sure you read everything and that you are agreeing with understanding. But I am just using this as a test case for mine so that we can show you what happens. Um, I, I won't click, I've got any other details there. So my name is my signature effectively here. So this is different to the one I put up above. This is just me typing in my name. Um, it doesn't matter what, I, I can type Peter R. Lewis here. It's just something to recognize that I've signed it and I can do today's date. And if I'm under 18, I've got to put parent's name. Um, and it's saying, oh good. Why is it not allowing me to submit it? Um, oh, it is. That's a, it's a grey button for submit. Elvanto, get on that. That's, that looks like it's not ready. So I'm going to click, click submit. Thank you for your submission. It has been, has been received successfully. So you can go back to the form. So I can um, get rid of that now. Now, if I go back to Elvanto here and I go back to people, you'll notice something's happened or should happen. Do look, look down here at the TB Team Breakthrough Annual Volunteer Decoration. Come down and look at my listing. It's moved from to be done to completed. That's because by me submitting that form, it knew who I was, it has connected that there. So the person who is administrating this can now come to this area here and do a check, um, do the a custom view for the annual checks. And if we've got other annual checks, we can put them in as well. Um, or we can just have this one. Um, the benefit of this one is, um, if I click on here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is gonna come in, I'm gonna edit people view. So I'm editing this view. And it's, it's saying sort by name and then sort by declaration. I'm gonna change that. And I'm gonna say, we're gonna do the declaration first and then by name. So let's see what the, benefit, what the benefit of that is. All right, so you can now you can see all the completed people are gonna be listed first and then all the ones to be done. I might wanna be putting the to be done up front. So I'm gonna edit the people view. I'm gonna change that to from ascending to descending. So now all the to be dones are listed first and you have to go right to the bottom to get the completed. But as people complete that, they will be moved into the completed section. All right, so that's um, how to do that. Create a custom field, then the custom field lets you know who has done something, who hasn't done something, and you can use your form to automatically update that field. You can update multiple things um, but that's just, you know, you can, that's just using the field. You can also just remember to make sure that the form you create gets their name, first name, last name, and email address. So it can link that to um, your, um, you know, to your actual database entry, and then it can know what to feel, feel to change. All right. Hope that was helpful. Bless you.